So um, then you end up in the closing stretch, you end up getting um, my in there with, with Waka. Waka is Waka. The crowd loves Waka. The crowd loves her. Like she's one of the most over people. Well, now that they have cheering, now they have cheering. She's the most one of the most over people uh, with live crowds. Um, they really, really badly want her to get the W. I don't finally. shock me. Oh, have we talked about um the the, the Waka uh and how they're this is this is now a tag match? No, because it wasn't announced until last weekend. Okay. Um, how do you feel about this? Because I. Would have preferred to see Walker win by herself if she was going to win. I think that they did that to make the match better, and ultimately at the end, Walker is going to pin whoever Nanai's uh, surprise partner is. Ah, uh, this is Nanaiism. <laughs> Nanai wasn't. It makes no sense for Nanai to lose to Walker anyway. She's a tag champion. Am I wrong here? I thought the whole thing was set up with Waka and Nanai, and now it ain't. So I'll put it to you like that this: seems right? weaker. The idea. Oh, here's my question, right? If you do Nanai versus Waka, and Waka beats Nanai and pins her, right? Is anybody going to take any satisfaction, or going to feel like it's Hogan versus uh, versus Pillman? Um. I, like think, some- I think people will just go – if she's as over as, like, you know, she But seems, I don't know if the over uh, – but it's a different type of over. I think it's a crowd over. I don't know if it's, like, all of a sudden, like, yeah, she needs to be the white belt champion. I don't nah, I don't think it's that kind nah, of thing. Like, but it's like, all right, could you beat, like, this legend or something? It's like a one-off, I think. It, like, it's, a, it's a bigger win than anybody would imagine that, that it would be. And it's just like, – it's, like, such an outsized victory. It's kind of like – it's her career highlight, essentially. Like she'll never get something that good again. And if it's a case where she's gonna win this, I think oh, they're blowing. Uh, like they're getting a, a maybe lesser, they can, maybe they lose. Who knows? They might lose. Yeah, because yeah. because like there's also because what's been going on with the Cosmic Angels like Club Venus thing is that like Mina will will Mina don't fuck with Unagi Unagi. Is coming and going out the, out of the promotion, and shows up maybe every month, every other month, for special occasions when they need another person, and she has a, a free date, she'll show back up to start them. Mm-hmm. But like pretty much everybody else that she, um, everybody else in Cosmic Angel, she kind of still has a decent relationship with. Like she, and she even like, um, like she, for example, in the semifinal of this show, which was you know Cosmic Angels was you know Tam. Poi and um in all cap Saki, Mina's out there. She's 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 cornering them. Like there was, you know, the weird thing of her having her own faction, or not weird, but like her having her own faction and calling Club Venus. Thought you thought it was going to be like a separation, but it doesn't seem like the separation is there or yet there yet. Like the only separation I can see is Waka loses the match. Tam told her she had a month to get her shit together. Because uh, there's nothing else I can teach you. I've taught you everything I can teach you. Then maybe I just, maybe you need to go somewhere else, somewhere to teach you. And then like Club Venus shoots off on its own with Waka. That's the only thing I can think of. Waka and Club Venus. I don't like that. But what do you think? What do you think Club Venus is going for? That's that's really I think that's you're thinking is like an aesthetic thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Like well, it's... I mean. Look, I don't know what you think. Look, I'm not going to get into what you think about the the wrestlers, or whatever else. But like, I think of Zaya, I think of Zaya Brookside and them big ass eyes, and I think of like a, a a damn Disney character. So I don't really necessarily think of the same things you do when it comes to maybe when you think of like Mariah and Mina. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like they're going for a specific thing with with Club Venus, and I don't know if Waka aligns with the vision there. But you know, I'm, I'm but, sure but I'm sure Waka this, got. But Rich, you could have said the same thing when you saw the original three of Cosmic Angels, right? And then you get Waka but, added to it, and you're like, or as the fifth, and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> I, I think once you pass, look, I don't know what sells over there. I don't yeah. know. Uh, King of North says Club Venus is a Rossi fantasy. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, just to bump her over Club Venus, it feels like a waste. Like, uh, I, like 
whatever happens, they need to win th- this match. Like, I, and I know they're. I think they've gone too far. Obviously, they can't just say it's a singles match again. But I, I think it, I, it would have been more effective as a single. I um. I think you're right only if they win. Mm-hmm. If they win, I think you're right. But if they lose, then it's like it didn't matter one way or the other. Right. Uh, but the thing is, I think they're going. I think she was going to lose anyway. Um. So. Uh. So 